it is freezing this morning but i do have a feeling that i'm gonna be hotter than i want once i start mixing my concrete yesterday we picked up the concrete eight bags no actually 10 bags 10 80 pound bags guys my arms are sore i'm not gonna lie but i'm so excited for this i've been waiting to do my outdoor kitchen for a year now I'm not just excited to build my outdoor kitchen, but also especially excited to share a little piece of my work with you guys. See, this project is so special to me because it goes beyond just building. It's about creating a space filled with love and memories. I found this little corner in my backyard and it just fit right. There's power and water hookups, making it the perfect spot for my outdoor kitchen. Why is this project so important to me? Well, in less than two months, we will have our small intimate home set wedding in my backyard and this outdoor kitchen will be a big part of it. To me, it was more important to create a special day with memories than expensive venues. So instead of pouring all my savings into a room that I would never visit again, I decided to invest in something more meaningful, our home set. Now let's talk about the rear grind though, planning and designing, trust me. It took me a good two days to get everything just right. I needed it to feel like us, you know? And then there's the list, the list of materials I needed. It's funny how something so simple can sometimes turn into the hardest thing about the project. If you know me, you know that I love me a good DIY project on a budget. So I went hunting for Lamboma property and luckily I had a stash for previous projects, cutting the cost of this project in half. Building from scratch isn't all sunshine and rainbows though, it's about precision and making sure everything fits just right. Taking the frame for the concrete for example. Square is the name of the game and let me tell you, it's a challenge with just a small square to work with, but as always I live by the motto that challenges make the journey just much more interesting. I have never poured concrete before so I really did not know what to expect. I watched a couple of YouTube videos and went into this project with two key points. Prepare your side with a drained and compacted base of soil and make sure your foundation is square. So I am a learner by Dua and honestly making mistakes helps me to learn a new task. I just love figuring things out as I go which can be a blessing and occurs at the same time. Now, the hardest lesson was to realize when to ask for help though, but I call that personal growth.
My favorite part about new projects is learning new things as I go. When I did the first bag, I didn't know what to expect. Now that I know what to expect, it's already so much easier. My cement dried over the weekend, actually three days now. So today I can take off the form. Also going to build the kitchen countertop as well as my kitchen island. And once all of that is done, we can finally get to the really fun part, which is building the brick oven. Okay, let's see. It is so windy today. I hope you can hear me. I don't know how many times I've reused these screws, but they just go back in my pouch. And every time I need some, I just reuse them. All right, I guess the concrete is dry. <laughs> All right guys, it is official. I poured my first slab of concrete ever and it turned out nice. That's so cool.
Now this one was a little bit messier, so let's see if it turned out just as nice. I spilled some wood chips and dirt on there, so. It's not perfect, but it's okay. It's gonna do the job. I hate when this kind of stuff happens. I had a plan and I like to stick to my plans and time frames because I wanted to finish at least my countertop and the island today. But it looks like we have a whole tornado warning going on right now. So I hope I, I get at least an hour of work in now. Since I'm having a little bit of timely pressure on me, I need to get this done by a certain date. I decided that I'm gonna get some help and just knock this out hopefully real quick before the tornado comes in. Say hi. Huh? See the level? Yeah. That's level. That's good. You know, that's that's what you do when you have a tornado warning here in Florida. You just keep working uh, until your tools fly away. I'm just kidding, of course. I'm kidding. Not kidding. No, we're good. It's like a centimeter over. Okay, perfect. It's not straight at all. Hmm? It's not straight at all. I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't know why. Got a countertop, guys. I am so excited. Now, how far can we push this? Am I going to be able to dig four more two feet holes, install the four by fours, and then the top plates? I don't know, but I'm going to push as long as I can. Let's see. This is my back countertop, and then I want to have a eight feet aisle over here with also seating. Three feet. Yeah. Looks good. Yep. Hi. Hi, buddy. Don't be scared. Ooh, I'm scared. Tell me you're in your 30s without telling me you're in your 30s. <laughs> this is like... This is a whole adventure over here. Yeah. 
what we're gonna do with the little feet. The what? With the little feet. <laughs> I've got Crocs. You need some travel to do that. I've got high heel Crocs. <laughs> Looks so awesome. Hold on. Hold on. You still have the same problem with screws. Okay. Tools, tools, tools. You grab the camera. All I needed was 10 more minutes and we would have been done, but. <sighs> Everything is completely flooded, guys. I mean, Everything. Just water. This high. Ah, man. The way I see it, if you want the rainbow, you gotta put up with the rain. Here I am, finding myself once again walking the familiar path of my property. A routine I've adopted every time nature decides to put on a powerful display. In the aftermath of a storm, there is a unique sense of calm and clarity that washes over the landscape. It's a moment of reflection, a chance to assess the damage, and more importantly, celebrate the blooming nature that was able to drink up. And today was no exception. I strolled through my property, checking for fallen trees and expecting structures. To my relief, I only discovered one casualty, one fallen tree blocking my driveway. But nothing a little arm muscle cannot fix. So here's to embracing the storms, appreciating the rain, and dancing in the puddles of life. Because after all, that's what where the most beautiful rainbows are born.